you know, I was kind of not liking the temp form at first, but, eh, who knows. Anyway, uh, hello, Nano V Movies, uh, YouTube channel, and, uh, anyone who stumbled on the playlist. I am, uh, Retro Care, Retro Care Reviews, aka, uh, Real Name James, last part, and name-wise, you're gonna have to follow my, uh, uh, Instagram down below for that. Why am I here? Well, uh, for one, no flashy intros or anything like that for the one excellent, uh, scene, um, for, uh, this whole, uh, collaboration to basically make a quick, uh, in my case, vlog, uh, not an actual full-on essay with, uh, footage of X-Men-related, uh, content. Sorry for that. However, what I can actually talk about, um, that I think is my one excellent scene happened during last year when Jonathan Hickman's, uh, new run for the X-Men. Uh, this is a quick, uh, reminder that I also tried filming a news related to Comic-Con at home. And the whole reason why this whole playlist exists is because today, as of this recording, I don't know if this will make it in time, um, was supposed to be the release of, well, one of the releases of, uh, New Mutants. And so much so that there is actually a new trailer going on about all the release dates that got cancelled. Not really good marketing, but... Who knows if it even comes out. Um, if anyone's wondering why I'm dressed up like a half-ass, I guess, gym coach at the Xavier Mansion, it's a long story with my channel. I usually do uh, figure forms, meaning I just review Marvel Legends figures or sometimes tokusatsu stuff like Power Rangers and Kamer. Uh Pleasantries out of the way, let's just get to my excellent scene. It's really about um, the final issue. Not, no, not really the final issue. Sorry. Another thing I do sporadic. So, meaning I'm going to slur my words or miss a couple of things due to personal reasons and mainly pacing for my videos. So, that being said, um, there is a picture, if I remember correctly, was during uh, when the foundation of Kokoa was happening. And basically, uh, the whole theme of this uh, panel was to be uh, extending an olive branch to multiple uh, villains throughout the X-Men's uh, legacy to finally all come together as one nation. If this sounds a little too familiar, if you are aware of the comics, that is because it's a little bit like Genosha in the same vein um, when Magneto tried the same approach. It's been a trope that's been happening throughout the uh, series since even the comics itself, uh, even the animated moot, not the animated series, Actually, yes, the anime series, uh, uh, in both, uh, 92 X-Men and X-Men Evolution. Two, well, one of the two I did a retro review on, so if you would love to actually see more content of me talking about, not just this moment, but, uh, also X-Men related content, I made a playlist. Most of the movies are in my movies playlist, and vice versa for most X-Men related content here on the main channel. <sighs> so, the scene basically plays out of them basically founding the country, founding... A big win of everyone coming back from the dead, a la, I assume, uh, Battlestar Galactica style of the Resurrection Machine, because they found a way to make one of their own to even the playing field as far as the many, many years of getting screwed over by humans. Um, I won't go to the full extent how the island itself and mostly the country of Kokoa became unified and became as it is. I highly recommend reading uh, The Hickman Run yourself. I'll do some heavy wiki researching to anybody you may or may not like outside of. X-Men related teams, myself included. Um, I do like, um, uh, was it Glob Herman and, uh, Sage. Per both, personally, both of them do need to be more religious figures, which was one of, like, I want to say three ideas I had for this video, but I just wanted to keep it at this whole bit. Another thing that makes this thing cool is the final panel of basically Wolverine, Emma Frost, Scott Summers, Cyclops, and Gene all silently cool with each other. For those who also don't know, this moment also entails about the years of love triangles all four of them have on each other throughout the comics and all. Basically said, screw it, let's just have a relationship, open with everyone together and not in an entanglement as of resemblance with uh, Jada and Will. Sorry, I had to put current, well, I guess at the time current, uh, dated trends here as far as news goes. Literally wise, I'm not like that most of the time. Um, so yeah, um, the thing about those relationships is that it's been the detriment of a lot of subplots, a lot of critical thinking in certain situations, and mostly big distractions when done and written poorly half the time. And the fact that Hickman didn't want to go through that same writing trope like everyone else did in previous runs 
said, screw it. What if all four of them were in the same relationship and see what would happen? Who would backstab first? Who would be with each other the longest? And currently, when I'm, I think if I was reading last week's, I want to say X-Force, Jean and Wolverine look to have the longest relationship being in this foursome now. And it's mainly a panel after a mission that went wrong in another island, another country. Uh, basically, it's Beast's fault. And more importantly... I could do a whole other video, I uh, think, if this ever happens next time, to explain how Beast is kind of the coolest, yet smartest, and also the evilest character of the team. If you've been reading in the comics the last decade, you know what I'm talking about. Um, Battle for the Atom, for starters, as a run and storyline to jump off of with that theory. So, um, in conclusion, um, I highly recommend the Hickman run, um, as is. I was going to be a little confused, as I normally would be with the last, I want to say, two or three years of X-Comics. Uh, my entry point was through, uh, I want to say, Teams Red and Blue. Um, normally, they codename uh, the two biggest teams in the book before this run, either Blue or Yellow, to give you an idea of who's who, uncanny-wise, and I think main book-wise. But I'm not here to go on and on about the comics, I'm here to go on and on about this moment. And I believe um, the full screw it, let's just have a big old four plus relationship, trying to put this as lightly as I can, is my moment for the comics currently. Movie wise, I personally recommend um, the new Gamut um, live, live, live action fan film that came out uh, late last month. It is actually pretty good. It got Eric Roberts, of all people, to be in this. Yeah, it's kind of rare for X fan films to be that good to the point of getting. A sort of name actor into this so uh, even for a bit part in Eric's case but it's actually not bad I highly recommend it um it also has a very accurate rogue unlike Anna Paquin throughout the uh, old movie years so highly recommend it it's really cool um so yeah if the end cards are finally here um uh, unfortunately I have to do the end card dance around here sorry for that for those who are new to my channel um more for here from my previous uh, review of uh Batman Mask of the Phantasm which I also Kind of, sort of did in a figure form, so you could get an idea of what's going on there. Um, I'll try to do more contests next time for new viewers. Uh, sort of, not powered up hand here to, I assume, maybe the New Mutants trailer, if you guys want to take a look at it and see if it's actually going to come out. Um, there was an old uh, rumor that I was supposed to upload today of them probably going to have it as a digital. Finally put it on VOD with, uh, I guess, Australian... Uh, Disney Plus might have tipped it off. Again, I'll leave it in the cards or the link down below if you want to take a look at it yourself. That being said, uh, thank you for letting me be on this playlist if I made it in uh, to Nano V Movies. Awesome to be here and hope you guys get to see more from content. And please support your local, uh, uh, local uh, small YouTube channel like myself. I really need that. Um, so that all being said, take care, subscribe. All my social media links are down below in case you guys want to follow me. Take care and um, yeah, let's extend some Hall of Franchise. In a cool way, not in the, I'm totally going to stab you in the back way, which I personally think that's going to happen with Emma, or whoever.